Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm doing a review on the Launch X431 Toyota Lexus Scanner. This is a, an affordable scanner that will give you full functionality on Toyota, Toyota and Lexus vehicles. Um, this is just what comes in the box. Currently, this is on Amazon. Um, I'm going to link it below and it's very good price for everything it could do. And also check to see if there's any coupons or sales because uh, occasionally there will be and you right now there is one. So check below for links to the scanner. Now this is what it comes with in the box. You got a user manual, a quick start guide, the scanner itself, and a charger wire. Here's the quick start guide and then here it is right here. It's a four inch LCD screen. Comes with everything you need to get started and a charger wire there. So let's look at the box real quick. This has OBD2 function for all brands. So if you have a non-Toyota Lexus, you could still plug this into a, another brand of car and pull codes or read live data from the, the PCMs. Uh, it has the mall function, more on that in a second. And then it has free upgrades, multilingual support, and um, you can read live data. It's really great. Now real quick, on the mall function, this is so you could buy extra features on the car. Uh, so say you wanted to just upgrade to have even more functionality and access to whatever cars you're working on, you could go to the mall and buy that on there. Um, here's the back. Like I said before, it has a four inch screen. Uh, it's a touch screen and uh, the dimensions are pretty good. It's, it's a little bigger than like a, a smartphone and uh, it's plug and play. So any module on the car, this scanner can get into and it can read codes it'll have bi-directional control which i'll do an example in a moment <clears throat> it could read live data from those modules it could perform health checks and we can also program keys which i'm going to do a tutorial towards the end of this video and show you how to do it so to use it you plug it in your car's dlc it'll if your car is a little bit newer uh, it can auto detect the vin and when it auto detects the vin it'll pull up your exact car make and model and what options it has you can also just go through in with, without the vin if your car is older and can't you know auto vin read you can go in that way but here's a 2019 RAV4 and these are just an example of some of the modules that it could get into I'm talking about TPMS the driver doors um, and then here's a bi-directional control example right now I'm turning the locks on and off with the scanner now that's important because if you have an issue with your locks you can you know use the scanner to tell if it has power ground functionality and then if it doesn't you could dag from there here's a power window being turned down and I could turn it back up and like I said bi-directional is good because you could test the functionality of your components in your car and then um, here's some uh, menu options you can go to actuation tests and then uh, here I am in the air conditioning module, and you can see all these servos and uh, mode doors I could control. So if I'm ever having an issue with those, I could test them independently and see if the issue is with those or maybe somewhere else. Um, right here, I'm turning the blower motor up all the way. Uh, and when I do that, it's independent of the AC control module. So if there's an issue, I can know the blower motor itself is good. It also works on older cars that support it. This is a 04 Toyota Sienna. Uh, same thing, bi-directional control. Um, very useful diagging tool. It has plenty more to offer. Um, you just have to buy it and see for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and jump into a tutorial on how to program a key on a newer Tacoma. Okay, everyone. So we're in a 2017 Toyota Tacoma. I got my new key. I got this on Amazon. Here's the part number. I'll link it below. And I got our scanner here that we're checking out. I'm going to program a key on this truck. Uh, hook this up to the DLC connector. Get this going. It's going to boot up. And then we're going to go to diagnose. And I like to hit auto detect because it'll just read the VIN. But you can also go manually through the Toyota or Lexus menus. This will read the VIN. And then it'll say, you know, is this a 2017 Toyota Tacoma? You say yes. And it's going to scan all the modules. Um, as you can see, there's like pre-collision, occupant detection, SRS. A lot of are available. We're going to go into the immobilizer module first. And um, when you go into a module, it likes to give you a little uh, heads up about what the module does. Let's go to special function. And then we're going to go to transponder code registration. This will register the chip in the key to allow the car or the truck to start. 
And it's going to say you have three steps. And you, all you do is you follow these three steps. So the first one is remove the key from the cylinder and insert it back in and turn the ignition on. Press OK. The next step is going to be to remove that master key and then press OK. So just pull this out. Press OK. And then step three is insert the key you want to program within 10 seconds. So I'm going to put the new key in. I'm not going to turn it or nothing. I'm just going to put it in. The car will remain off. Just put it in and then push OK. It'll say now registering. And then um, after about 30 seconds to a minute, it'll say key registration is complete. Now, this key will now start the car. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. I'll show you. This is my new key. I'm going to go ahead and start the car. It, uh, the transponder chip in the key tells the ECU, hey, it's me, it's okay to start. So, But to get these buttons to work on the key, like the lock, unlock, and panic button, we have to program um, the wireless registration on this key. It's, it's two different things. I don't know why they do it like that, but it is what it is. So um, we're going to program to get these buttons working. Kind of the similar process. It's actually easier. So we're going to back out of the immobilizer module, and then we're going to go to the... Um, BCM body control module right here we're going to enter into the module go to special function just like how we did before hit special function right here and then we're going to go to wireless registration so it's uh, wireless code registration it says it's to register a new wireless code which is just basically the remote part of the key talking to the computer on the truck um, this one's really easy. All you got to do is on the next screen, hit the unlock and lock button at the same time on the key. Put your old master key in the uh, ignition, have the door open, have the other door shut, just like the instructions say. It'll say this is how many keys you can program. It says on the, ne on the next screen, hit lock and unlock at the same time for one second. So that's pretty simple, right? So we're going to hit OK. So we're on the next screen. We have 30 seconds. It says hit lock and unlock at the same time. We're going to do that on the key, and then the truck will make a, like a, a beeping sound or a chirp sound when you're good. So all you do is you push these two together like that. Very simple. The truck will uh, make like a little honking noise to tell you that, yes, it got it, and then it'll say registration is complete, and that's it. Then now you have a fully functional key. This key will now start the car and also... The, um, the buttons for the wireless functions like lock, unlock, panic will work. And that's it. That's how you do it with the scanner. Now, now if I were to use Toyota software, I would have to have a uh, tech stream. I would have to pay for the software. I'd have to buy an expensive cable like the Mongoose cable, which is a good cable, but it's about four to 500 bucks just for this cable. And then I'd have to um, use it with my laptop. Um, the scanner will give you the same functionality as a Toyota TechStream. There might be a few things that TechStream can offer that the scanner cannot, especially on a smaller screen, but the the cost of the scanner compared to having TechStream is so much better than paying for TechStream when you could just have full functionality on the Toyota scanner. All right, guys. Well, that's about it for now. Um, great scanner for the price. I highly recommend it. It'll be linked below. If you own a Toyota or you work somewhere and you work on Toyotas a lot and you want to have a bunch of functionality and get into modules and have all kinds of uh, options available to you through a, a affordable scanner, definitely check this one out and uh, I'll see you next video.